This is a lot of about 2,000 carats of gem silica. It was cut from a single piece. All the pieces were cut so they were thick. So if you were going to make any sort of jewelry, you would get a usable thickness. Didn't have to worry about uh, pinching out of the material. And that's an important factor when you're selecting gem rough. You want to make sure that your pieces are uniformly thick. So whatever you do, you have enough material to create your jewelry. On a rough piece like this, you're not going to get the same sort of utility as you will out of a flat cut piece that goes all the way through. This lot has some particularly fine material in it and some that is variegated in color. This piece had some variety in it so you would still be able to have enough material to match the colors of but there is also some material here that would be uh, used as standalone pieces. We're v reviewing the first set of gem silica slices and this is what it looks like dry. And it has an attractive appearance to it but you also want to inspect your gem rough wet to see how it might change in appearance and look like when it's polished. So we're going to take these, immerse them in water, and you can see they immediately become more intensely colored. You can see the patterning. This has some very interesting radial texture to it. So there's another one that has radial lines, of inclusions of materials. Actually, this dunking shows you a wonderful characteristic of this rough that wasn't apparent when it was dry. This is a very lively lot of material showing very interesting patterning. And what looked like a very drab piece in white light, dry, takes on a new life of its own when it is wet. And you can see that the patterning continues on both sides of the vein.